Let's get those feet underneath the hips. We're going to work a nice, strong inchworm. Walk to those hands on out. Take your time. Little to no movement through the hips. Once you get to that plank position, I want you to turn those elbow creases forward. Activate those lats. Activate those fingers into the floor. And I want you to pull your hips back towards those heels. Nice, strong sit back. Lengthening through the arms, and then come back to that plank. And if you can, get that left foot outside of your left hand, nice and long to the top of the bot, top of the head. Big breath. And left foot back, right foot up. Big breath. And right foot back. Let's walk those hands on back. Standing up nice and tall. We're going to run that one more time. Strong hinge. Walk those hands out. Activate through that plank. Strong through that belly. Pull those hips back. Press those fingertips through the floor. Back to your plank. Left foot up. Big breath. Left foot back. Right foot up. And right foot back, walking those hands on back. Wonderful. All right. Let's take that right foot back. We're going to find a stationary lunge or split squat position to be more exact. Once you have that right foot back, I want you to pull straight down. Give me five reps of your split squat. Your pace, five reps. And now stay tall. Back foot is still back there. Right foot is still back there. I want you to lower down. To where that back knee is off of the floor. We did this drill last week, if you were with me. I want you to try to crush the floor together. So you're trying to drag that front heel towards that back foot. Of course, they're not moving unless you're on ice. But we're trying to crush the floor together, pulling through those hips, and relax. Left foot goes back. You should have felt everything light on fire. If you did not, try harder on this round. Five reps. Left foot back. Your pace. All right, let's get those five reps, reset. All right, now we're gonna pull down together. Now crush the floor between that front heel and that back foot as you're trying to pull the earth together. And relax, all right. We got a little bit of a buy-in today. We get that heart rate up early, we're gonna really work some lunges. We're gonna work a traveling lunge. We're gonna pick on that right leg first, is gonna be doing all the work, all the traveling. Left foot's gonna stay still, all right? So we're going to spend 30 seconds. I'm going to take that right foot back. Now right foot forward, forward lunge. Reverse, forward, reverse. Your pace, 20 more seconds. Again, left foot's not moving. Our right foot's doing all the traveling here. Starting to hopefully feel a little bit of warmth. Muscles are starting to wake up. Three, two, one, reset. Right foot stays still. Left foot goes back. Left foot goes forward. 30 seconds. When you go reverse, that right foot is flat. When you go forward, that left foot is flat. We're always driving through your heel. Five seconds. And relax, all right. So today's workout, we've got two main strength circuits we're gonna work through, four main movements, and then we're gonna finish off with what I'll consider ESD, but it's gonna be more or less a nice full body complex, all right? So our first movements today are our hand release push up and our single leg elevated glute bridge. So most of you are on before class, I asked you to grab something to get your foot on. I've got a bear roller and a yoga block today. We're going to work through these movements real quick. Three reps of each to make sure we feel well about them. And then we're going to get moving. All right? So plank position. Pull that body down. Lift the hands at the bottom towards the rib cage and drive up on the knees. It looks the same on the knees. Pulling down. Hands up. Press. Down. Hands up. Press. 
That is our hand release push up. It's not a plyometric push up. All right, so we're getting rid of that tension at the bottom. All right, so let's bring those feet on out in front. If you have something to elevate your foot with, please grab it. All right, I'm working with a barrel roller. It's going to add a little bit more tension to the hamstrings. All right, so I got both feet on for just a moment. And now I'm going to bring that right foot off. Just three reps here. I'm going to drive my knee forward, squeeze through my glute, and down. Two more. Up, down, up, down, and switch. Up, down, up, down, up, down, relax. All right. Those are our two main movements we're working through for the next six minutes. All right. Big breath. We've got 15 seconds. We're going to rock and roll. When we work those hand release or single leg glute bridges, it's working through at your pace. Elevated or not, it doesn't matter with your glute bridge. All right, let's set it up. Plank position. And let's work. So you lift at the bottom. Pull those hands towards the rib cage. And then punch through the ground. It doesn't have to be a giant lift. It's just enough to get those hands off the floor. Getting rid of that tension through the chest. 20 more seconds. Almost there. 10 more. Four, three, two, and relax. All right. Moving on to that single leg glute bridge. I'm going to be nice today. I'm going to let you pick which side you want to start off with. It can be stronger, it can be weaker. I typically like to say start on dominant, but if it's a little bit of a tricky movement you're getting used to, I'll let you start dominant today. All right? One foot's on, ground or elevated. Let's work. Hips go all the way to the floor with every rep. We're driving that knee forward as we squeeze through the glute. If you are using a bear roller, you'll notice that hamstring got a lot of work going on to keep that bear roller from moving. And you can use yoga block. You can use that big book you still haven't read yet. Whatever you have that's stable. Three, two, one. Relax. You got time. Switch out sides. If you're working elevated, hopefully you've noticed a big difference as far as the target onto the hamstring, upper or upper hamstring and glute area. All right, set it up. Let's work. We're intense with every single repetition. Squeezing through that glute just like we would a bicep curl. Fifteen seconds. Strong exhale out of your mouth to make sure that rib cage pulls down. Three, two, one. Relax. All right. We're moving back on that hand release push up. Again, we're only doing two rounds. So do try to push yourself pretty hard through this next set. Doesn't mean get sloppy, get crazy, but we're working a lot of intent. All right. Plank position. Down, lift, press. Down, lift, press. Again, if you're on the knees, it looks exactly the same. All right, so if I'm dropping knees, you shouldn't be able to tell much change besides the fact that my heels are now up. My hips are still coming with. My hands are still pulling towards the rib cage. 15 seconds. Last five, four, three, two, and relax. All right, chest, got a little warm. Don't worry, we're gonna hit it up again later. Got a little surprise, a little something fun here at the end of class today. All right, single leg blue bridge. 
You can be on the ground. So right now I'm on the ground. It looks exactly the same. All right, bring my heel back on. Let's work. Again, strong exhale out of your mouth. Make sure we pull that rib cage down. This helps us to strengthen that pillar, strengthen that core. Last five, four, three, two, and relax. You've got time. If you're like me, you got a little crampy sensation, you can maneuver that hamstring around a little bit. All right. Big breath. Opposite side. Set it up. Let's work. Feel that tension through that glute, through your rear end, just like you would if you were working a bicep curl. Last 10 seconds, stay with it, and we're moving on. And relax, all right. So, you get a little bit of recovery, or you're gonna work through these next two movements. Unless you really need extra recovery, you're gonna work through them with me to make sure we master these movements, all right? So, our next super set, we have a renegade row, which I worked with you last week in a much shorter position. This week, we're gonna work in a rotation, which a lot of times I go against. But today, we're gonna work that rotation. And with that, we're gonna work a squat double lunge combination. All right, so let's go ahead and find a high plank. So as we pull that left hand towards our rib cage, I want you to imagine that you're ripping the earth off the ground. So you're pulling with all of your intent, and you're going to rotate. So now my logo is facing you because I rotated, but I'm strong through those obliques, through those uh, transverse abdominals. And switch, 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 and up, right? That's movement number one. Movement two, pretty simple uh, uh, concept. We're going to squat and then double lunge, okay? So it does not be super quick. What I'm looking for, I'm gonna slow it down now, is when you come out of that second lunge, that you're right back into a squat position. All right, let's set it up, plank position. Let's work. Renegade row with our rotation. Watch those hands. They tend to want to creep out in front of the body. You start looking like Superman or Superwoman. I want to keep those hands underneath the shoulders. Let the hips pivot. Hips rotate. Last four. Three. Two. And we're up. All right. Again, we have our squat double lunge combination where the main part you're paying attention to is coming out of that second lunge that you step into a squat. So you shouldn't have to shuffle your feet around. All right, squat position. I'm going to say facing you for right now. Squat, lunge, lunge, squat. Your pace. What I like about this one is we're actually challenging that squat position because we tend to land in a little bit of a different squat every time. Ten seconds. Even if I find myself wanting to shuffle, wanting to change up. Where I step, where I step and land is where I'm squatting. Three, two, and. Relax. Renegade row with rotation. We do have three rounds of this one. All right, so moving on to round two. 
Big breath. Set it up. Let's work. You're strong. You're rotating through the hips. Keeping those hands under your chest, under your shoulders. You don't have to go super fast here. Now I want you to feel that rotation, that tension through the belly. Three, two, and we're up. All right, squat, double lunge coming up. All right, challenge yourself again, stepping right into that squat if you can. Big breath. Two, one, let's work. Squat, double lunge. Halfway. Ten seconds. Last four, three, two, and relax. Two rounds now, one more to go. Then working that rotation with that renegade row, trying to feel that midsection strong. Then a lot of you are going to stay for abs, but let's try to get that connection going on right now. All right, plank, let's work. You're strong, you're strong. Hips stay high as we rotate. Shoulder stays packed in. What I mean by that is notice my shoulders away from my ear. I'm not living here. Okay, I'm not letting that shoulder collapse up. As I go side to side. And relax. Squat double lunge. And you're done with your strength series today. We're going to finish off with what can be considered ESD. Some strong intervals. We're going to get that, metabolic, get that heart rate up. We're going to be more metabolic. All right, big breath, squat, lunge. So for those of you with uh, weights at home, if you have some light dumbbells, you can use them through our metabolic series. You certainly don't have to. I'm not going to. It's going to be enough for me. But if you do have light dumbbells and do feel like you need to push yourself a little bit more, there's an option to use those. Eight seconds. Heck, if you have heavy dumbbells, you can use them as well. You're just going to be working slower. Two, one, relax. All right. So our next series, our next movement, is going to take us all the way to the buzzer. All right? We got four minutes of work. I'll let you kind of catch your breath, recover for a minute so we get more output. So what you're going to be working through for the next four minutes on and off is going to be a sprawl, so a push-up, renegade row, back up to a standing position. So what does that look like? All right, we're tall, we're coming down, we're pushing up, renegade row, renegade row, jump up. Okay? So if you have dumbbells, you can use that, land that push-up, work that row, work that row, clean press as you jump up. Okay? If you're wondering if that movement, what it used to be called at least, was a man maker. So most, some of you might recognize that movement from class. All right, it's a fun little combination. It's in here, ticker going. All right, grab a quick sip of water if you have it. We have 15 seconds. We're going to get rolling, and we're going to ride this one all the way to the end of class. And if you're somebody who really dislikes the directions, we're going to work for about 35 seconds, rest for about 25. So we're going to have a nice little, a little rest after we push ourselves. All right, so let's get some good effort. Set it up. 
Nice work. Kick back. Push up. Bring that run. Up. Reach. Down. Bring that run. Up. Reach. Your pace. Try to get those feet back into a squat position when you jump those feet forward. 10 seconds. Ooh, do it. Extra push up. Four, three, two, one. Relax. All right, one round down. May not have been too bad. Party body out a little bit. I kick back up a little bit. Big breath. Going again in about 10. If you're landing that strong push up, you're punching, you're rowing, you're up. Set it up. Let's work. Light on those feet on the transitions. But max tension through the body as you get to each position. 10 seconds. Four, three, two, one. Relax. Two down, two to go. All right, breathe. Did a lot of build up to this one for a reason. We worked our push ups, our hand release. We're strong in that position. We worked our renegade rows. Five seconds, big breath. So our body knows what to do. Let's go. seconds. Don't forget that reach to the sky. I'm getting a little lazy. I just missed mine. seconds. Big breath. Big exhale. Let's work. But to me, it's showing a sign that you were defeated. We're not defeated. We still got plenty left. All right? We're lucky to be able to do this. We'll do it again. All right. Find your athletic stance. Sink down. Big breath. Exhale. Two more. Inhale. Exhale. One more. All right, if you have something near you to go put your hand onto, let's really work on those shoulders. That's what we're gonna spend the rest of this stretch with. If you don't, you can either work some chest openers here, with rib cage down, trying to get this to lengthen back out after all those. But if you have something near you, desk, door jam, keep your elbow tight to the body, take your palm to that, rotate away. If you did unravel with me, you know exactly what this is. You held it for much longer earlier, 
We only have time to get about 20 seconds on each side right now. And switch. All right. You can hang out there as long as you like, of course. For time's sake, that's it for me today. I right, thank you all very much for joining. Y'all stay classy out there.